Welcome back, everyone. Uh, today we are going to be focused on we are going to be focusing on the uh, the fairly complicated multiplication of matrices. Uh, but don't worry, I'll walk you through this. Last time I attempted to briefly and concisely uh, explain the process of multiplying matrices, and that seemed to have gone downhill. So, as a result, I am back attempting to take a deeper dive and hopefully explain it to you a little better than I did last time. So why don't we get started? Zoom in a little bit. So let's see. So matrix matrix multiplication. doesn't sound too intimidating it's not that bad so first of all um <clears throat> let's establish two matrices a and b they have nothing to do with each other at the moment so two by three why not um again two rows two symbolizes the amount of rows and three symbolizes the amount of columns which there are three let's see uh, one three four I guess, again, this is random. Two, eight, nine, I guess. Just like that. And uh, now let's establish a B. Now this is where it gets quite crucial. This is the important bit. So, as opposed to when you add and subtract matrices, when you multiply matrices, the the amount of columns in the first matrix that you're multiplying. So if it were A, B, it would be this one. The amount of columns in this one has to equal the amount of rows in the second matrix that you're multiplying. So in this case, B. This is incredibly important. Now, don't mind me putting this two. It could be any term. I'm just sticking with two just for convenience. So this can be... Oh. Hopefully I gave myself enough room. Seven, two, three, five maybe, two and ten. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> let's just make this clear because it's incredibly important. So this, this, half. These two terms always have to be equal. Otherwise, the multiplication would fail. And we, and maybe late, in later episodes, um, I will provide you guys with a few examples or an example of situations where this, uh, this de definition would apply and it won't be applicable. So now let's um, let's try multiplying this much these matrices in this order. By the way, this matters. A B. Uh, unlike normal multiplication, it's not commutative in that A multiplied by B cannot equal B multiplied by A. Whereas, uh, so c the commutative d pr property does not apply here, though the associate pro associ associative property does. I'll get to that in future episodes. But for now, let's stick with this. So A multiplied by B. Let's rewrite this in this format. Um, let's see. So just copying this, these two down So in, in the right order, of course. Nine. Multiplied by B, which is Ten, just like that. Now this is the tricky bit. Nothing surprising yet. Hopefully, this should all be quite intuitive. Except for this, this I I would understand why you wouldn't have thought of that yet. But 
now this is uh we're about to undergo what's uh, something similar to vector dot product so i'll st i'll guide you through this step by step okay so this is equal to let's give myself a lot of room a lot of room probably too much room just in case i'll write that later so this this part is crucial now in future episodes again we will i'm going to be uh uh, racking up more and more examples in order to solidify this idea of dot product multiplication in vector in vec in vectors. I mean, these could be vectors, but right now we're just calling them matrix matrices. So we want to start off with is the first term in uh, in A's, or in this case the first well in this case A's, but in the first matrix. So my first term is one. Now this is the first row, obviously. So this matrix gets its, uh, this information gets, this ma this matrix um, information gets its uh, information from B's column, while uh, uh, B gets its information from A's uh, row. So I'll show you. So this term, this first term here, will be multiplied by this first term here, not a surprise, that's actually the same thing for um, for addition and subtraction of matrices. Don't get that confused though, because that can be pretty bad. So 1 multiplied by 7 plus, and we'll get to that, 3. You see 3 multiplied by 2. You see we're working down, downward. So plus 3 multiplied by 2. Finally, four multiplied by three. You see the last term in this this row this row and this column. Plus four multiplied by three. See why I got a lot of room? It seems like a lot, but once you simplify, it's actually gonna be quite underwhelming. So now uh, we wanna stick to the same uh, row here, but alternate to the second column. So 1 multiplied by 5 plus 3 multiplied by 2. Finally, plus 4 multiplied by 10. So that's our first row here. So I guess we can cut it off like this. So now let's proceed to the second row and we multiply by that first by, by the first column hopefully you get the pattern now two yeah I gave myself too much space multiply by seven plus eight multiplied by two finally plus nine multiplied by three there we go head to the next one so again stick with the same uh stick with the same row on a and alternate to the second column on b so two multiplied by five plus eight multiplied by two so just make sure should be similar here make sure so 2 multiplied by 5 8 multiplied by 2 makes sense right then 9 plus wow I didn't even give myself enough room 9 multiplied by 10 hopefully you can see that so now let's quickly simplify this should be rather simple so let's simplify it uh, like this first so 1 multiplied by 7, that is 7, plus 3 multiplied by 2, that is 6, plus 4 multiplied by 3, 12. Head to the next term. 1 multiplied by 5, 5. 3 multiplied by 2, 6. 4 multiplied by 10, 40. I can cut it off here. 
2 multiplied by 7, 14. Can you see? Yes. Uh, 8 multiplied by 2, 16. Finally, 9 multiplied by 3, 27. Last term. 2 multiplied by 5, 10. 8 multiplied by 2, 16. 9 multiplied by 10, 90. So let's add these up now. This is equal to be rather small. Hopefully that's enough room. Uh, 7 plus 16, 13. Plus 12. Uh, that's 25. Just like that. 5. 5 plus 6. Plus 40. 5 plus 6 is 11. 11 plus 40 is uh, 51. Right? Yep. Now 14 plus 16, that is 30, plus 27, that's 57. And finally, 10 plus 16, that is 26, plus 90, that is 116. And that is our answer. So again, I'll work up some, some more examples in the future episodes, so... Uh, practice some of these problems if you want to. Remember remember this rule. Uh, these have to be equivalent, as you can see here. So uh, hopefully this helped you a little bit. If you didn't get it, then you can rewatch the video or just wait for the second upload. It should be pretty soon. Uh, so thank you for watching, everyone. Bye. Have a nice day.